Hello, Shabush. This is Delphine. In this video, I'm showing you how to make chocolate croissant. Yummy! So you will need for your chocolate croissant a croissant dough, some dark chocolate, and to have it golden in the end, you will need one egg. You will beat into an omelette. Okay, first you will apply foil or paper cook on a baking tray. Then you will put some flour on your work plan. You will roll out your past. If you can try to shape a rectangle, it's better. Once you've got your rectangle, mine is about uh, 45 centimeters on 15 centimeters. So you can, if you want small chocolate crescent, just cut it into parts. Once you've got your two bands, you will cut rectangle in there. So my rectangle is about 10 centimeters on 20 centimeters. Then you will take a bar of chocolate. You will put it on the top of your rectangle. You will leave just a little space between the chocolate and the top, like that. And you will wrap the chocolate, stick it a little bit and add another chocolate bar and you wrap it. And this is how it should look like. Depends the size, the length of your dough. And you just put it on your baking tray. And you do that for all your rectangles. Once it's done, you will leave it rest for a minimum three hours or overnight if you want to use it for your morning breakfast. Well, after a few hours, your chocolate croissants are almost ready to be cooked. At these steps, if you just want to freeze it because you want to cook it another day, this is the moment. Well, before you cook it, you will beat an egg into an omelette in a wijar. And you will cover uh, your chocolate croissant with the omelette and a brush. Here it is. So you put it in the oven for 20 minutes, 22 minutes. You keep an eye on it after 20 minutes. And once it's absolutely golden, it's done. Your chocolate croissant are made. And after 20 minutes, you've got your chocolate croissant. I wish I could eat it now, but it's a bit too warm in the mouth. But believe me, it's really fancy. It look great, I can't show you. Look at that. The same that in a French bakery. It's burned, so watch fast. I hope you will enjoy this recipe and I'll see you later for a new one on the Chabouche. Bye bye.